So welcome to Fame Ebong TV. Today we will be addressing a very crucial issue in soap making, which is called trace. Now in soap making, we have a term called trace, where we have the light trace, the medium trace, and the heavy or thick trace. So during soap production, when you mix your oil with your lye or caustic soda, you realize that your soap goes through these three stages called the light trace, the medium trace, and the heavy or the thick trace. So now, the problem that most soap makers encounter is that they usually reach a thick trace. And the moment your soap reaches a thick trace during production, it will be difficult for that soap to come out looking smooth from the mold. It won't look smooth because it got to a thick trace. So in this video, I will teach you how to achieve a medium trace because medium trace is actually the best trace to achieve. If you can reach a medium trace successfully, your soap will easily enter into your mold smoothly and once the soap dries it will come out looking very smooth so this the purpose of this video is to teach you how to achieve a medium trace and not a thick or heavy trace in order to achieve a medium trace you have to combine two types of oils you have to actually combine a hard oil with a soft oil you have to combine what again hard oil with soft oil so in this video I'll be making use of one hard oil and one soft oil and my hard oil will be palm kernel oil then my soft oil is going to be the granite oil when you mix hard oil with soft oils during your soap production you realize that you will easily achieve a medium trace and the moment you can reach a medium trace your soap will come out very smooth your soap will be very smooth you will not end up producing a rough soap and the moment your soap is smooth it will have a very fine and shiny appearance so medium trace is actually the goal in this video so this is my caustic soda i've actually dissolved it in my water and don't forget whenever you dissolve caustic soda in water it becomes very hot when water mixes with soda the content becomes very hot so after i've stirred this for my soda to have completely dissolved in this liquid i'm going to keep it aside for that temperature to cool down after the temperature has cooled down you I, I will now use it to make my soap so i've kept it aside for it to cool down so while i'm waiting for this temperature to cool down i will start dissolving my color in water i'm using white color in soap making make sure you've prepared everything your fragrance and your color has been prepared you don't keep these ones you don't neglect them prepare them ahead of time so while i'm waiting for my soda to cool down i have already started dissolving my color so my color is going to be prepared and already i have kept my fragrance my fragrance has been kept my color has been dissolved so everything has to be prepared in soap making because once you waste time in soap making your production will reach a thick trace so you don't have to waste them everything has to be prepared because during that chemical reaction of your oil and caustic soda it goes through three stages which is the light trace the medium trace and the thick or heavy trace so you don't want to waste time you want to be quick about everything you're doing so now this is my caustic soda solution it has cooled down now i'm going to pour my oils the soft oil and the hard oil which is my okay first of all i'll add my sodium silicate to this soda solution i've added my sodium silicate 
then I'm going to add my oils, which is the soft oils and the hard oil. I will add the, the both of them, the soft oils and the hard oil. Remember, the purpose of this video is to teach you how to achieve a medium trace. Because the problem is that most soap makers encounter heavy or thick trays. And the moment your soap gets to a thick trace, it will be difficult to pour it into your mold. And when it is difficult to enter your mold, the soap will come out having a rough appearance. And when your soap has a rough appearance, it will not be attractive to your customer's eye. Now you can see. I have started mixing my oil with my caustic soda solution. You can see I, it, it has not gotten to a thick trace. It's still in a light and medium trace. That's because I am using a soft oil and a hard oil. I will have enough time now to mix, enough time to add my color, and enough time to add my fragrance. Without this, my mixture reaching a thick trace. This is the advantage of mixing oils or blending oils together bringing a hard oil with a soft oil palm kernel oil is a hard oil granite oil is a soft oil i'm bringing these two types of oils together into my production so that my soap making will not reach a thick trace quickly you can see i'm stirring and it's still very very soft implying that it has not reached a thick trace Reason because I'm making use of what? Hard oils and soft oils. So I still have enough time to mix without the fear of my soap mixture reaching what? A thick trace. So that's the purpose of this video. How to make soap without reaching a thick trace. Because thick trace is not the best trace to reach in soap making. Your soap will not come out having a smooth color. So that is my fragrance. I've added my fragrance now. I'm going to stir. So you can see the advantage of combining these oils, both the hard and the soft oil. The soft oil will limit your soap from reaching a thick trace quickly. Then the hard oil will enable the soap to get hard after you put it into your mold. That's the purpose of the both oils. Hard oil will help your soap to become hard without taking many days then soft oil will help your soap not to get to a thick trace quickly that's the purpose of both oils you can see my soap is still very watery and i'm going to pour it into my mold now it will easily enter my mold because it's still in a medium trace it has not gotten to a thick trace so i will just pour it in because it's still in a medium trace you can see it's entering my mold very easily and once your soap can enter like this into your mold in a very smooth way it will come out having a very smooth appearance so you can see how it is very easy so what's the trick here the trick here is that i'm making use of what soft oils and hard oil one soft oil and one hard oil so you can try this it's very simple you will see the end result of this combination of oils you will see the result of my soap to have a very smooth appearance
So you can see what I was talking about. You can see the soap. Very smooth because it was actually poured into the mold when it got to a medium trace. I didn't let it reach a thick trace. You can see the appearance. Very smooth. So in order to achieve this kind of smooth texture, learn how to combine oils using one soft oil and the other a hard oil. We have examples of soft oils and hard oil. In my online classes where I teach soap making on WhatsApp, I differentiate these oils. I show you, I, would, I usually teach my students the uh, types of hard oils we have and the types of soft oils we have. Just in case you are not close to granite oil, you can go for other options. There are other options for soft oils and there are other types of hard oils. Just in case you don't have uh, palm kernel oil or granite oil there are other options there are other types of oils out there in the market you could go for go for so if you check the description of this video you will see a link that will take you to my online class on whatsapp where you will learn more about soap making how to achieve a medium trace how to select oils for soap making how to dissolve your caustic soda how to take measurements for soap making because soap measurement in soap making is very important the moment you don't take the right measurement, you will end up producing a very bad soap. So these are all what you will learn in my online class. So check the description of this video, you'll see a link that will lead you to WhatsApp where you can join the class. So you can see how smooth this soap is, extremely smooth. This is the advantage of, comp of blending oils, using one soft oil and the other oil a hard oil. And I've told you the purpose of both oils. One will cause your soap not to get to a thick trace quickly and the other one will help your soap to get hard after it has been poured into your mold. So you can see here, you can see the result of this. So I'm going to keep this soap for it to cure. I'm going to keep it. I'll keep them for them to cure. So thank you for watching this video. You can try this at home combining both soft oils and hard oils then don't forget to join my online class if you want to still learn more on soap making you check the description of this video there will be a link where you can join my online class on whatsapp so see you on our next video and goodbye